Hi viewers, in the previous class I have discussed some of the terminologies or definitions regarding Turing machine. In this I am going to discuss the basics of Turing machines. Those are formal definition, mechanical diagram and instantaneous description. So while coming to the basics of Turing machine, uh, in, the, in the previous class I have already discussed what is a Turing machine, how, how it is going to be designed and uh, the Turing machine design was uh, accepted by which language and all these are all discussed in the previous class. Once again I recall that a Turing machine is an accepting device which accepts the language recursively enumerable set or recursively enumerable language generated by a type 0 grammar and how the production rules will be there in a type 0 grammar is already discussed we know alan turing is the uh, inventor for turing machine in 1936 next coming to this formal definition in turing machine it is defined by seven tuples so 7 tuples and it is indicated with M is equal to Q Sigma Gamma Delta Q naught B and F. So similarly in push down automata also we have 7 tuple instead of B we have Z naught Gamma is the same but there in push down automata Gamma indicates the stack elements here Gamma is a finite set of allowable tape symbol. Here we have a tape is connected to control unit. Later we can see. So here B. Here B is a symbol of gamma. B is a symbol of gamma called a blank. So all these are Q, sigma already we know very well. Q is the finite set of states. Sigma is the finite set of input symbols. Delta is the transition function. And Q0 is the initial state. F is the final state. So here also a Turing machine can be accepted by, by a string when it halts. We know that in recursive language a Turing machine will halt whenever the string is accepted or rejected. In both cases it will halt. But in a recursively enumerable language only the Turing machine halts when the string is accepted we know very well why because these two concepts are uh, discussed in previous class <clears throat> now see how the transition function is the transition function can be defined as q cross gamma tends to q cross gamma cross here we have a uh, <coughs> three letters l r h L means left, R means right, H means halt. So, it describes the entire transition function describes from one state by getting an input, the machine moves to a another state. And it writes a symbol onto the tape and moves to left, right or halt. So, observe one thing in push down automata a stack is attached to the mechanical diagram and there we are going to empty all the symbols in the given string but here we are inserting one input into the tape and rewrite that particular input by these letters l r h Later we can see in the problem. So now mechanical diagram. <coughs> Already we have seen a mechanical diagram for push down automata and um, finite automatas. This is the mechanical diagram here. This is the input to tape. Input tape. And this one is the read write head. This is the read head right head and it one is the control unit. So here the Turing machine consisting of input to tape, read right head and finite controller. So here this <coughs> entire diagram indicates that 
it has a movement in both direction left side and right side like the turing machine but in the turing machine both the read write operations are uh, done from or done from or on the input tape but for two way finite automata only the read operations is done and no write operation is going to done why because see in finite automata we are starting from initial to and reach to final state by reading one by one character or one by one symbol from the string whereas in turing machine we have two operations read and write operation we can read a symbol from this input tape and rewrite that particular input in the input tape so that here we have a in turing machines we have a two operations so again a string is accepted by the turing machine if the string is totally traversed and the machine halts so wherever with any machine we are going to traverse the entire string here also with the turing machine you have to traverse the entire string or the given string then finally the machine should halt okay next see similarly in two way finite automata if the string is totally traversed there also the string is totally traversed and the machine reached to final state we know very well about this finite automata so whenever the string is accepted then it always reached to final state in turing machines it must halt when when the string is totally traversed this is the mechanical diagram description and next one is the instantaneous description so you know here instantaneous description describes the uh, present situation of a machine present situation of a machine it gives the status of the machine where you know, what is the uh, input symbol where we are and um, from which state to which state is this go, uh, moved from uh, all those uh, details are uh, there in a uh, gives in instantaneous description so here also in the instantaneous description of the turing machine remembers the following at a given instance of time which gives uh, the details of a uh, machine the de details of turing machine next uh, the content of all the cells of the tape starting from the rightmost cell up to at least the last cell containing a non blank symbol and containing all cells up to the cell being scanned in the input tape see here in the input tape each and every partition of this tape is called a cell we can call it as a cell the the content of all the cells of the tape starting from a rightmost cell to leftmost cell remain after inserting the given string the remaining blocks are placed as a blank so already uh, blank uh, element, blank symbol can be denoted with a b we know that uh, we will discuss it in the seven tuples b is the blank symbol and uh, so in some cases it is denoted like this also blank symbol can be denoted like this and it does not equal it does not belongs to sigma which means the um, input symbols are not equal to this blank symbol so finally a blank symbol is a special symbol blank symbol is a special symbol used to fill the infinite tape for example if the string is a a a b b b i'll start the string from here a a a b b b so after completion of the string the entire string tape so that can be filled with blank symbol b here also i left one uh, left most uh, cell also i have left we can also place a blank here also likewise we are placing a blank symbol and it does not belongs to input alphabets
next finally so we have some operations regarding this input tape so read or scan symbol below the read tape head so where uh, this is the read write head so it indicates it, it indicates some uh, the, uh, this particular cell data is going to be read and this particular cell data can be rewritten next update or write a symbol that this particular read write head this can be moves the tape head one side left and one side right these are all the operations regarding this input tape thank you thanks for watching for more updates on flat classes subscribe my rajni tutorials youtube channel